What's up, scuba girls and guys? This is Terry coming to you from the Dive Talk studio. Um, we are a few weeks late in putting out some new content. Wanted to kind of give you guys an update on where I've been, what I've been doing, um, things that are coming. Uh, we're also going to talk about um, some products that I think are great for women in scuba diving and talk a little bit about the relationships that you build uh, when diving uh, with the dive community and just the people that you connect with in general. Um, so let's start. Um, it's been several weeks and life has been absolutely crazy. Um, went to the dive talk meetup, had a great time, met some really amazing people. Um, I can't speak highly enough about the event. Um, the dives that they put together uh, were absolutely incredible. The people that attended, um, I can tell you already that I've made some lifelong friends um, globally uh, with the people that attended. Um, Heidi, um, Jersey, because I maybe shouldn't use real names. Um, <laughs> um Robin, I mean, I, I can't speak highly enough about uh, some of these folks that I met. F.A. Uh, from uh, helping out on the Dive Talk team. He was incredible. Dave Reiser, you know, um, you're my friend to the end, sir. Um, just an incredible group of people. Um, one of the things that we did early on uh, at the Dive Talk meetup was uh, try rebreather at the Ocean Treasures pool. Um, I unfortunately got excited. Uh, Woody put his rebreather on me. I swam around in the pool for a little bit and uh, I have decided to go uh, to the dark side. I am, I am about to take on the journey of learning uh, the KISS spirit rebreather. Um, that's another topic that we will cover. Um, my um, certification trip is coming up. Um, and there's another gal um, who is doing the program with me at the same time. Um, I want to talk to her a little bit about both of us kind of sharing our journey in uh, learning the KISS spirit rebreather. Um, the trip itself, we had um, some rough weather, but we ended up diving every day. Um, exceptional event. Um, I understand that there will be another Dive Talk meetup next year. If you get the opportunity to um, uh, get interested, if you're, if you're not certified, let's talk about how we get you certified. If you are already certified, it was an incredible event. Um, lots of effort put out by the Dive Talk team to show appreciation to the fans that came out and attended. Um, great swag bags. Um, just uh, overall, it was a great event. Um, I will be attending next year. So what else has been going on? Um, I have also been deep into my instructor course um, on the SSI side. That is the um, ITC instructor um, training, not trainer course. Um, my instructor exam will be sometime in July um, and I will happily share that journey with you as we go along there as well. Um, I did great on the academic side. I did okay on the skill side. Um, my rescue skill beat me up a little bit. I was pretty hard on myself. Um, but you know, you live, you learn, you um, take the time to evaluate where you messed up and then you just continue to shift what you're doing and improve. Um, being an instructor, learning all the materials, learning how to teach appropriately, what's important while teaching um, children and adults. It's, it's complicated and um, I still wouldn't trade the journey for anything. Um, I absolutely love scuba diving and I love sharing that passion with people, especially with um, women. Um, so this is just one of those things that will help me uh, bring other women into the sport or activity and um, get them excited about it too. Um, as you know, um, there is uh, no shortage of gear out there in the dive world for men or even maybe even generic or unisex. Um, one of the things that I want to cover today are some of the products that I find um, interesting, 
that I've used myself um, that I find to be geared towards owned by or for specifically women. Um, one of my favorite products um, that I've recently come across is slip-ins. Um, if you are familiar with them, it is a, not familiar with them, it is a female-owned company. And um, I had questions when I went to go and place my order and the owner herself answered. She and I had a great conversation. She talked with me um, and we went over the products that they had available and sizing and all of the um, things that I needed to consider while, when making my purchase. Um, the, their customer service was absolutely top notch and um, I felt that they delivered and they delivered uh, fast. Um, I told them that I was going on a trip. I was actually going to attend the dive talk meetup. They literally sent it to me overnight, um, or one to two days and I got it before the trip. So I was actually able to use it. It was a great product. Um, it helped get the wetsuit on and I had a relatively brand new wetsuit and we all who are in diving know that putting on a brand new wetsuit is not the easiest thing to do. You're on a dive boat, you're you're hot, you're sweaty, trying to put on a brand new wetsuit. This took care of it all the way. It was almost like butter trying to pull up the wetsuit. It just went right up. Um, the products that they offer, I happen to love this particular company. The, the website is beautiful itself. Um, but the products, um, they do tops and pants, but they also do, um, let me show you my favorite products. Let's see here. It's a mouse I'm not used to. Dive skins. These are the products that I am most passionate about. Um, their dive skins are absolutely incredible. Um, they come in a variety of patterns, um, whale shark, tiger shark. They, I mean, they just have uh, an enormous amount of items to pick from as far as patterns. Um, I absolutely love the feel of the product. It is SPF, um, I believe, 50 plus. Um, so you're getting full sun protection while you're using their product. So if you're hanging out on the boat waiting to go dive, maybe you guys have a long ride to the dive site and you're like, mm, maybe I'll lather up in sunscreen. Maybe I'll just put on the slip-ins and hang out. It's it. I didn't get hot or overheated. I love the feel of the material, um, and it being SPF 50 plus, uh, it it was it was a great um, experience using it. Then I put on my wetsuit, and I still had absolutely no problem. I personally believe that um, you definitely get your money's worth. Um, some of the other folks that I dive with, um, my best friend in particular, she owns a, a number of these. Um, a friend's husband actually bought the orange tortoise and uh, he and his wife uh, dive with us occasionally. And um, it's awesome just to see a gentleman also in a product like this. Um, I can't say enough positive things about slip-ins. I will be making another purchase um, before my next dive trip. One of the other products that I wanted to highlight today is Scuba Do Rag, another female-owned company and um, amazing products to cover your head. A lot of us women in diving, longer hair, even shorter hair, it gives you something to protect your hair it not get torn apart when it's getting caught in your mask and the strap or um, say the snorkel piece on the side. Uh, it just gives you a lot of freedom to manage your hair a little bit better. And yeah, dive hair don't care, but it's also nice to have something to cover and protect your hair. Um, one of the things that I used to do was go and buy uh, bathing suit material from places like fabric stores and cut them into bandana shaped pieces to try to cover things up. This is a much more sensible solution. Um, not a lot of us have time, energy, or effort to put into trying to sew something for ourselves. Um, but this is definitely a great product um, to help manage long hair. Guys, if you've got 
got long hair too, this one would definitely be something that you might find of interest um, in protecting your hair from the mask strap. Uh, one of the additional products that I want to talk about today is BCDs. We know, we know, we know, we know just how difficult it is to find a BCD that fits, fits properly and feels comfortable. Um, one of the things that I appreciate about Aqualung and what they've put out for a couple of items that I particularly like um, is they are centered around women's sh shape and some of these specific things um, where the BC hits on the hips um, to kind of keep it in line with the female figure instead of straight lines that uh, the male lines particularly have. Um, my particular um, favorite, uh, not a lot of people are going to like this. It's okay if it's an unpopular opinion. Um, I use uh, the Aqualung Lotus uh, for my personal diving and while I'm uh, in the pool in the classroom with students. Um, I personally think that the particularly shaped and thinner shoulder straps um, make it a little more comfortable in the top when you're tightening things down. Uh, it definitely makes it a more comfortable fit. Um, it also hits in the hips different than some of the straight lines that the um, generic or male-centered uh, designs are for BCDs. Um, keeps the weight centered where it needs to be right over the hips and it's it far more comfortable fit in most cases than I've experienced with some of the um, BCD, so design, BCD designs that are not considering the female figure, if that makes sense. Um, the Lotus itself um, has lots of pocket space. I personally like that. Um, has lots of D-rings. You can hang a lot of things from it. It travels well. Um, if you're looking at this particular piece of the BC down towards the waist buckle and um, where the pockets are, it folds really well if you're traveling with it um, and it's not too heavy or bulky in my opinion. Um, and just a BCD that has really been um, I, I have beat the snot out of it and it is still an amazing BC. Um, you know, you know, and I've, I've, one of the things that, um, we don't see right now, um, is that I've lost quite a bit of weight and this BC is, is still working for me. Um, I'm probably two seconds away from needing one size smaller, but I know that I'm still going to be comfortable in a Lotus, um, the next size down because it covers and hugs in the right places, um, when you're tightening things down to have a good solid fit before you get in the water. One of the other products that I do like uh, for BCs, also an Aqualung product, is the Pearl. Um, okay, it's purple. You got me. It's pretty. Um, but they also take women's shapes into consideration on this particular BC as well. Um, Again, with the the um, shoulder straps being um, considered about how it hits on the shoulders when it's being tightened down, um, it's also uh, a good travel. It it folds and collapses really well. Um, additionally, another solid BCD um, and hugging you in the right places versus where you might find in more straight line BCDs where there might be gaps in certain places or um, across the chest. It, you know, you start tightening things down and they're hitting in places that just make you uncomfortable or pinch. Um, and these two BCDs, you just don't have that experience, um, especially if you um, are blessed in the chest, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, things to consider. Uh, I, I appreciate companies who pay attention to the specific needs and shapes of individuals, not just women. Um, you know, the most majestic creature in the ocean is a whale shark, right? We all want to be able to dive. I think if a doctor tells you that you are healthy enough to dive, it does not matter what you look like. It does not matter your size, that you should be able to get in the water and dive and dive comfortably. Um, and that includes gear, your um, 
wetsuits, um, fins, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I think personally, um, manufacturers and product producers need to pay more attention to every size and shape in the industry. Um, there's lots of people out there who are, who are not slim and slender and your picture perfect model of, um, fashion these days. Um, and they're typically more of us than anybody else these days. Um, so one of the other things that I want to talk about, um, are wetsuits. We all need them. Um, exposure protection is one of those things that you have to consider depending upon where you're going. If you don't always do warm water diving, or if you're in a location like I am based in Atlanta, um, there's not a lot of warm water out here to dive. You have to go get creative and you have to go find locations like quarries that are, aren't always the warmest thing in the beginning of dive season. Um, but for those of us who are desperate for bubble therapy, um, those are some of the things that you consider, right? Uh, you, you get to your wetsuit and you think about, well, how much exposure protection do I need? Am I going to go below the first thermocline? Um, am I going to dip my hand down in the first thermocline and it be less than 79 degrees? And am I going to go dive that or am I just going to stay up here in the first one and try to stay warm? Um, all things to consider, you know, do you want to go see that bus that's sitting at the bottom of a quarry or not? <laughs> um, we here locally have a bunch of quarries there that are all within a couple of hours driving distance. Um, so any chance that I get, I am more than happy to get underwater and get it, get a glimpse of things that are underwater that are interesting to see or interesting wildlife. Um, but again, back to exposure protection. Um, one of the my personal favorites is the Akona. And the reason it's one of my favorites, it's it's very forgiving. Um, as far as being a body that has been large and has lost size, the Akona wetsuit has done a, a great job in trying to include larger sizes. Um, the I think currently the largest size is a 15, 16. I could be wrong, um, but that uh, at the time fit me when I was much larger than that. Um, it was a, it gave me great protection. I felt like it protected me when I needed it most, when I was getting chilly. Um, I have since purchased a second Akona um, in a few sizes below where I originally started. And now I use the previous size to layer when I'm gonna go do more cooler water temperature diving like in the quarries. Um, I'll layer that with um, some bare exo wear, um, which has both a male and female line. Um, doesn't add any kind of uh, positive buoyancy to your, um, your kit and uh, has a great fleece lining, fleece feeling lining um, to keep your core warm when you're doing uh, cooler water diving. I don't wanna say cold water diving because you'll never find me do that um, unless someone's really trying to get me to go ice diving, which uh, that's gonna take a lot. Um, but the Akona does have um, men's and a women's line. And I think that you'll find lots of colors and variations. They do shorties. Shorties are not my favorite. I, I really wish that industries would not consider them unless folks are using them for water sports um, on the surface, only because you're, if you're using a shorty, you're still gonna get stung by wildlife. It doesn't, it gives your core the warmth and protection, sure, but you're not gonna get um, away with, like if, if you have a wandering jellyfish and you don't see it, it's going to sting you in your bare exposed parts. Um, I think shorties may have their place in sports on the surface, um, but I prefer a full length wetsuit. Uh, even, even diving in the Bahamas, I'd still want a full length wetsuit because I don't want to deal with um, critters who react to skin like jellyfish, you know, their proteins reacting, um, to, or their stingers reacting to the proteins in our skin, uh, is definitely what causes some issues. So might as well protect yourself. Um, I do appreciate the line, um, for in Akona, um, just colors. Yes, sure. But, um, 
they do take women's shapes into account not just the chest area but the hips as well i feel like it's a good fit especially if you have wider broader hips um the Acona line definitely takes those things into consideration uh, where my experience is concerned. One of the other wetsuits that I have um, frequented is Henderson. Um, when I first got into diving, I couldn't find a wetsuit without tears, lots and lots of tears. And the Henderson line has not only a men's line specifically, but a women's line specifically, gearing towards smaller hands, smaller feet, um, you know, your specific body parts. Um, I think Henderson does a great job in considering the different shapes and sizes that come with each gender. Um, especially females for hips, um, larger bodies. Henderson is definitely an amazing product for that. Um, and I appreciate that about the Henderson line. Um, my entire family, except for, well, I don't have a Henderson currently, um, but the rest of my family who dives, they all dive Henderson. Um, so I, I can tell you just from experience, from the sport caps to the gloves to the wetsuits, um, they get a lot of love in our house and uh, are definitely a great product for bodies of various sizes. Um, the last product I want to talk about are fins. We all have opinions. And if you've ever been in any kind of forum or group or um, Facebook, for that matter, any group will chastise you for your fin choices, um, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I, I think, don't come for me. Split fins have their place. Um, they're not a terrible fin. A lot of people don't like them. It's okay. Um, but split fins do have their place. Um, if you are a more advanced diver, I think that there are better products for you. Um, I particularly have recent... I've fallen in love with a new fin. Um, or if, if you ask Deep Six, they call them flippers. Um, I am, I'm still on the fence about my uh, identification and how I identify these, this particular, if you even see on the website, that's, that's look, look, flipper. Do, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about flipper yet, but um, they're, um, eddy fins are probably now some of my favorite fins that I have ever had on my feet. Um, the propulsion rate is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, being able to frog kick with them, being able to reverse, um, I have had more success with these fins in a multitude of conditions than I've had with just about any other fin. The only complaint I have is that the color choices, gentlemen, I guess deep six I'm talking to you the the color choices so far are kind of limited um, but you know there it is still an incredible product and I will probably not dive any other fin unless I'm teaching and have a requirement to something else um, these are just products that I have found in my experience of diving in the last several years and been things that I have enjoyed. Um, I am not being paid and not sponsored, not one kind ad. Um, that's a nod to Jelaine. Um, but this, this is just my personal opinion. Um, I'm sure I will get comments and that's okay. We all, we all have opinions. Um, this is just mine in particular, how I feel about some of the products that I've used, um, out there floating around in the dive world. Um, if you have any comments or thoughts or you have any other products that are out there in the dive world that are female owned or female specific, um, or you've had great experiences with some products that are female owned or female specific that are in the dive world, I would love to hear about it. Um, feel free to drop a comment and share your experience um, and we can talk about it on another episode. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to chat about today um, it's just the, the, the nature of the dive community. Um, it is something that I've not experienced in any other activity that I've participated in personally. Um, you do tend to bond with people when you're diving. You're essentially putting, you know, 
your own safety and their safety in your hands when you're diving with people. Um, so you do tend to get pretty close and form special bonds with people when you become part of a, a knit group of people. Um, I have a select group of people that I tend to dive with, um, but I am the first person that will tell you that if there is a group of people diving who are not my core group of people that I dive with, I'm there. I, if there's a puddle, I'm, I'm ready to jump in it. Is it deep enough to breathe underwater? Let's go. Um, you meet some of the most amazing and incredible people in the dive community. Um, for the most part, the dive community is immensely supportive, um, want to help you in accomplishing your goals and uh, see you be a better, safer diver um, at every turn. So um, if you've not had that experience, I apologize. I, I think that for the most part, the dive community is pretty amazing and pretty special. Um, and it's not just regional, right? It's globally. Um, I have people that I have connected with in diving all over the planet. Um, I, I think that it's almost like a, a, a select universal language in some cases, kind of like music. When you find people who are passionate about diving, they want to talk about it. You know, you stand still long enough, someone will start talking about diving. Where were they at last? their last dive trip? Where are they going? Where are the next cool dive places that they're going? Um, I personally, um, because I feel so strongly about anyone being able to dive, uh, I will talk to just about anyone who's standing still long enough. Um, in my own uh, office in my house, not here in the Dive Talk studio, um, I have the Scuba Girls of Georgia flag hanging in uh, my office that sits behind me. And it's always a conversation starter. Uh, and I, I hope that uh, my experience that I'm able to share with folks um, brings them to the sport of diving, that they get excited about it and wanna learn. Um, my friends at Dive Talk, the Dive Talk team, um, they too are just as passionate about sharing this with everyone. And it's not just divers, right? Divers, non-divers, anyone who will listen. I think that those of us who get bit by the scuba bug, as I like to call it, um, are so passionate about it that they just want to show everyone who will sit still long enough and listen that it's incredible and a whole nother planet under the surface when you have the opportunity to learn and go see what's there. Um, some of the things that are coming up, um, I have an exclusive interview with the Dive Talk duo um, that is in the works. Uh, that should be coming relatively soon. Um, additionally, I have some other really cool opportunities to interview some other folks, um, some who are in the technical dive space, some who are in the recreational dive space. Um, I have a, a bunch of women who I would like to bring out to talk to you guys about um, underwater photography, um, underwater um, other specialties that you can get certified in that, I mean, I have friends who are like, I love what you're doing. Can I come talk about wreck diving? Absolutely. I want to talk to everybody and share some really cool things with anyone who wants to uh, listen. So um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Tell me uh, by dropping some comments what you want to see next, what you want to hear next. Um, if you have ideas about who you'd like to see, I would love to hear those too. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. See you next time.